Baba Order Sergeants Order honorable members Honorable members as you are aware the sitting of this afternoon was suspended for 15 minutes. This suspension was occasioned by actions and or utterances by various members of the House contrary to Standing Order 107 and 107A. Specifically, the said members among other things, defied a ruling of the speaker, made disruptive utterances, used violence against a member of the House, and acted in a manner to the serious detriment of the dignity of the House. Honorable members, I wish to advise you that we need at all times to observe decorum in the House, and the dignity of the House. Honorable members, as your speaker, I'm saddened at what I've witnessed this afternoon. I have consistently refrained myself from invoking standing orders relating to the discipline of the House. Following what has happened this afternoon, I want to direct as follows. The following members, having flouted the standing orders of the House by menacing each other, shouting at the chair, and making all manner of unprintable utterances, I will invoke the provisions of Standing Order 107 107A grossly disorderly conduct the following members are guilty of grossly misorderly conduct number one Mili Odiambo number two Rosa Buyu number three Sabina Chege, number four, number four, Fatuma Muyanzi, number five, Catherine Omanyo, number six, Joyce Kamene, and lastly, TJ Kajuang. Those members. Those members, honorable members, standing order 107, three, reads as follows. The speaker may call a member whose conduct is grossly disorderly to order and shall order the member to withdraw immediately from the presence of parliament for a maximum of five days and a maximum of 28 days. Um, in this regard, therefore, the following members will suffer the following fate. Milio Diambo, two weeks. Rosa Buyu, two weeks. Fatuma Muyanzi, five days. 
Catherine Omanyo, five days. Joyce Kamene, two sittings. TJ Kajuang, two weeks. Sab Sabina, Sabina Chege, two weeks. Sergeant, can you have those members out of the chamber? What's the point of order? Murugara? Thank you, thank Murugara. you, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we were in the middle of debating the motion on the budget estimates. And most of the members have spoken and they're in agreement and in support. Under standing order number 95, I do apply to you, the Speaker, to allow the mover to reply. Order, honorable members, I'll put the question that the mover be called upon to reply. As many as of that opinion say aye. aye. With those of the common opinion say nay. The eyes have it. Mover. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I thank all the members who have contributed to this debate uh, and motion, Mr. Speaker, in regards to the budget estimates for financial year 2023-2024. As you have noted, Mr. Speaker, there is a lot of proposals, Mr. Speaker, on where we'll be expending our resources. We are taking 30% of our budget to education, Mr. Speaker, which is 630 billion Kenya shillings. Mr. Speaker, we have also input the monies to expend for fertilizer for our farmers, Mr. Speaker, we have also allocated 3 billion Kenya shillings that will go into finishing the ongoing ESP markets, Mr. Speaker, and many much more, Mr. Speaker, proposals. Mr. Speaker, I have listened to members, Mr. Speaker, and benefited from their opinions and contributions. What I want to assure all the members is that we'll make sure that this budget and these estimates, Mr. Speaker, will be implemented to the letter so that we continue serving the people of Kenya through this budget. Mr. Speaker, also, in terms of policy, we will endeavor to do the best, Mr. Speaker, because as members are aware, the budget itself, that is government spending and government expenditure, accounts for only around 22% of our GDP. And therefore, even in regards to, Mr. Speaker, the policy, we will continue serving the people of Kenya to make agriculture viable for our farmers, to streamline, Mr. Speaker, our education, and to put all the resources into various value chains. Mr. Speaker, I thank all the members. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the National Treasury. I thank the membership of budget, all the departmental chairs, Mr. Speaker, and all the members of this House from both sides. And Mr. Speaker, having said that, I beg to reply. I'll now put the question, which is that this House adopts the report of the Budget and Appropriations Committee on Budget Estimates for the National Government, the Judiciary, and Parliament for the financial year 2023-24, laid on the table of the House on Tuesday, 6th June 2023, and pursuant the provisions of Article 221 of the Constitution, Section 39 of the Public Finance Management Act 2012, Understanding Order 2391, approves the issuance of a sum of Kenya shillings, 2 trillion, 308 billion, 410 million, 784,957, from the consolidated fund to meet the expenditure during the year ending 30th June 2024, in respect of the votes contained in the first schedule to the order paper subject to paragraph 3, Committee of Supply. Two, make the policy and financial resolutions as contained in the second schedule to the order paper. Three, 
orders that the speaker do now leave the chair to facilitate the consideration of the said budget estimates with respect to each vote and program in the Committee of Supply as contemplated understanding order 240, consideration of estimates in the Committee of Supply. Will as members of that opinion say aye? aye. Will those of the condo opinion say nay? The eyes have it. The next order. order number 10. Order honorable motion. members, order. Order honorable members, take your seats. Take your seats.